Okay, we're continuing. Uh, I just went back in town to get this nut. If you equip the catch beads, you... Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, so you can, um... You can assign synergy to your L and R buttons. So I have... Uh, Garrett's move on L and my catch on R. And again, you get catch by equipping the catch beads that your mom gave you. Okay, yeah. So just... It's a good healing item. Alright, let's go back on to our adventure. I'm not gonna go back and talk to people. There's probably items you can get in the houses and stuff. I don't give a shit. Honestly, the best items in this game you can kind of buy, really, you know? And, um... Yeah, you can usually buy stuff. That's the best way to go, I've found. Usually I hate buying stuff and I save my money, but in this game you can... Oh, if... Uh, you, you gotta set your frame skip to an odd number so it doesn't flash like that, by the way. Just... If people are using an emulator. Okay, so this is the world map. What is that? Oh. A traveling warrior. What is this retarded rat looking thing? And I see you're an adept too. You're just the kind of fighter that I've been looking for. Uh, won't you please uh, take me along with you? I'm Venus Jin. My name is Flint. Our first Jin. I must find my comrades. We were separated from each other when the volcano erupted. Maybe you can help gather my friends together as you travel. I'll let, uh, I'll, if you let me join you, I'll prove to be very beneficial to you adepts. Your synergy will grow stronger, and your adept skills will also improve. You can call on us in battle, or just use your own power to boost, or use your power to boost your own. If you call on many of us at once, our powers will work together. Uh, what do you think? Will you take me with you? Yes, these guys are fucking awesome. Oh, you'll see. You won't regret it. Flint, the Venus Jin, is now Vagin's ally. Now I'll briefly teach you how to use Jin. After bringing a Jin into your party, you must set it to somebody. So it's doing this automatically. To give your Jin to someone else, move it like this. Changes your stats and stuff. After choosing a gin, you will take the gin. You can uh, who will take your gin? You can set it. Setting a gin changes your attributes and maybe even your class. When your class changes, the synergy you can use may also change. It's a really good mechanic. Next, I'll show you how you can use this in battle. Each Jin has different powers. Once we are set, you can unleash us to use our powers. So let me demonstrate the power of my attack, Vagin. Okay. So you see the stats change and stuff. Okay, they're gonna show us how. You uh, choose this command to unleash me in battle, okay? So see, after you use him, your stats go down because he becomes on standby. That's all you have to do to unleash a uh, set gym. Boom! Look at that. Fuck. See, when you unleashed me, I attacked with my mighty stone cleaver. After being unleashed, we Jin will then stand by to be summoned. Right. So then, you choose the summon. If you have standby Jin you can summon even greater powers. Fucking yep. Look at this shit. Fucking amazing. See, we Jin can be uh, pr very useful, can't we? And one more thing. 
Uh, after a jinn has been used to summon, it must spend time in recovery. And after we recover, we will set ourselves again and be ready to attack. Uh, so we go from set to standby to recovery, then back to set. This is the simplest way to use us. Uh, did you get all that yet? But yeah, if you want to learn more about Jin, refer to the help, okay? Okay, I'll join you now. Thank you very much. Please use Jin. Use us Jin wisely. So he joined us. Uh, so here's the thing. If I set him... Like, see, your stats change quite a bit. There's no change in my um, powers, though. And so, like, if I give it to him, see, his stats don't really change a lot. Some do, some go down, actually. And, like, see, he's called a brute now, because he's supposed to be a fire type, really. And then if we. Yeah, but see, um, when we gave him the gin, like, yeah, let me do that again. When we gave him the gin, uh, he's gonna gain growth and lose flare because now he's more ground type. So it's really fucked up. But yeah, it's best to just keep it on, uh, keep it on me. It gives me the most benefit. I'm already an Earth type. You know. See, and I can fucking go. Alright, let's see. Let's use this guy. Here goes Flare. Boom. Now I summon. He attacks everybody. They always attack everybody. Uh, I don't know if I'll really need flare, but might as well. See my earth power rise by ten or whatever. But yeah, that's pretty dope. Usually you just want to use it, because why not, right? Yeah, fucking love the, um, the battle commit. It, it really is only going to be in recovery if you stay in battle. Like, as soon as you leave a battle, he's set again, usually. Oh, we almost reached our first village. Land. And they're dead. Oh shit, what's going on? We can't stay another minute in a dangerous place like this. We uh, return to Kale immediately. Oh shit. This is terrible, the bridge has been destroyed. We cannot continue southward. What, the bridge? This is awful, how are we gonna go uh, get to Kale now? Master Hammett, I'm worried about leaving Ivan behind. As fond as I am of Ivan, it was his fault my rod was stolen. <laughs> his rod was stolen, and his strange powers will aid him in search of the rod. Mm, he wants that rod in his mouth. Ivan has strange powers? We must leave this treacherous place immediately. 
But to where? Where can we go? We have no choice. We're heading north. We'll wind up in Lumpa if we go north. Well, it's better than being smashed by falling rocks here, isn't it? Yep. Vault. Vault is the name of this town. Welcome to Vault. Uh, we heard about some kid named Ivan. Let's try to find Ivan. Some rod was stolen. You know, a bunch of stuff here that maybe might be useful to us. We haven't done anything terrible. Hmm, foreshadowing. Okay, where shall we go? Hmm, off on an adventure, are you? It's impressive to see youngsters like you going on a dangerous journey. Du, du, du. Huh. It's been a while since I played, I don't remember. Oh. Oh, here he is. Mind read. Yes, I, I do possess strange powers. Mind read. You have them too, don't you? He's reading our thoughts. It's called synergy? I had no idea. I have so much in common. We have so much in common. I feel I can trust you with this. So not everybody has synergy, apparently. I'm quite troubled. Master Hammett's rod was stolen. Would you please help me get my master's rod back? <laughs> sure, buddy. Thank you. With your help, I believe we can recover the rod. Your names are... <laughs> Badgen and Garrett. I'm Ivan. Pleased to meet you. My ability to read people's minds frighten you, doesn't it? That could be a useful skill. Am I really... Is my mind reading so frightening? No. It's perfect. Ivan and Badgen clasp their hands together. Ah, my mind. Stop reading my mind, Ivan. So, Vagin, could you read Garrett's mind? Just as I thought. What? You read my mind too, Vagin? I guess that if you... I guess that I could help you read minds if we shared our synergy. Hey, that's not fair. Why don't... Why do you get to read my mind? You're right. It's not fair to read one way. Ivan and Garrett clasp their hands together. Oh, shit. Whoa, I did it. I read your mind. Fuck. My gay fantasies coming out. <laughs> Let's use mind read uh, to find the thieves. Wait a second. Won't people know that you're using mind read? Oh, I see. You two uh, can tell when I'm using synergy. Imagine you and, Bo you and Garrett are both adepts. Maybe that's why you can tell where I, um, when I'm reading your minds. Ordinary people can't see anything. There's nothing to worry about. So ordinary people can't see that goofy hand either. <laughs> I will not read your minds again. Uh, let me read the minds of the townspeople to find the rod. Well, we will do that next time, won't we?